sometimes I wonder why y'all are subscribed. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs>
these really slim packages like this. I mean, they're just paper and then it has a little light uh, in the bottom here, but we're going to do an unpackaging of one completely and setting it up. So I actually bought six paper lanterns and the reason is I wanted doubles of the one with the Cosmic Heart compact projector because I wanted to open one and then maybe just store the rest in their packages until my collection room is finished because a lot of you guys know I'm wanting to do a collection room makeover. So that's why I'm not opening a lot of my items just yet. Um, they're gonna be a lot easier to store in their packages. So for now, for this video purpose, I bought an extra one of these so I can open one up and show you guys while they're still relevant and while they're still available. Cause if you guys end up liking this and you want one, I wanna make sure that it is close enough to their release date that they're still available for you guys to go out there and buy one. If I've convinced you to buy one. Let me know down there in the comments if I did. So yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, open one up. I'm gonna keep one of them out for the back here so I can read the instructions while I am opening it up. And they just have a little sticky part on the plastic. It's real easy to open up. Remember guys, plastic bag is not a toy and it can be dangerous. Recycle your plastic, guys. Be kind to the environment. It's such a cute little package. What do we have here? These must be the little lights that are stuck down here. I'll kind of show you guys that they are just taped, so they just come off like that. I mean, this is happening in real time. I have not opened one of these up yet, so if I act like I'm really confident in what I'm doing, it's a lie, because I've never done this yet. This is kind of neat. What do they call this part? This is the uh, hanger part to hang up the lantern, and I love how they just kind of incorporated it into the actual packaging. So it's just kind of hanging there that we have to take out. Step number one is to pull the finger holes at the bottom to open the lantern. Finger holes. I like that term. Okay, it just came off like that. I'm really excited for that cosmic heart part. Okay, so these are the finger holes right here. They say to, that was the first step, right? You probably want to be a little careful, but it's unfolding in front of my eyes. Okay, there's a little finger hole at the top too, right there. You guys can see the little finger hole. So that's how you unfold it. It has a little string in the back. Look how cute this is. How festive, right? So we kind of popped that bad boy out like that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this dealie off of this here. So we just removed that from the corner. Okay, so step number two, it says pull the paper puller to reveal the light holes in the 3D panel. And they say this is the paper puller in the back here. Oh, I see it. Okay, so when you pull on this, it reveals this hole here at the top for the light. What's the 3D panel? Must be that bottom thing down there. Step number three, insert the flashing light into light hole A. Well, I guess I better open the little lights first before I continue on. So we have the light. How do you work said lights? Oh, each light has a piece of tape over the switch that is on there. So I'm just gonna remove that piece of tape, potentially. <laughs> I'm gonna need to use my knife for this. It's just a little piece of masking tape that's over the little switch there. So I'll show you guys. After I remove that little piece of masking tape, we have this little switch, which when you turn it on, oh my gosh, it does rainbow colors. What? That is awesome. So we're just gonna go ahead and get both of them set up then, right? Same deal with this one. Are they a little different? They are a little different. Okay, so this one is a square shape and then this one is a circle shape. The square one, which is this one right here, goes into light hole A and the circle one goes into light hole B. The A hole, <laughs> sounds so funny saying that. The A hole is the, at least in this lantern, I know they're each a little different, but it's in between the two uh, pieces right here. And then the B hole is back here. And I love how it shows you like the top of the lights. So you can tell like which one's a square, which one is the circle and it go where it goes. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that one on and we're gonna put those in. So it's gonna go in like this. Hope I don't break this. It's quite the fit, so. You'll know if you're putting in the right one. There we go. We got that one. Removing the masking tape of the circle one. Gonna go ahead and turn this bad boy on. So that one flashes different colors. And then this one is just a solid yellow light that you put in. And what I'm doing is just kind of 
twisting it back and forth um, to go into that slot right there. That's what made it to go in there a little bit better. Hey guys, post-production Ochi here. I just kind of want to explain these lights a little bit better. After talking with my husband, we have confirmed that these are a one-time use light, which kind of sucks because you can tell that there's a little like watch battery inside this plastic container, but there's no way to really open it up without breaking the light. So these particular lights are a one-time use once they burn out, but the holes in the actual lanterns, they're not specific to anything. So I'm sure you can use any light that would fit inside these holes, the A and B holes inside the lantern once these no longer work. Oh my gosh, do you guys, can you guys tell that that light is really flashing and everything looks so cool. And then the string on the back, that's where you will attach this. And this part just has a little tiny opening that you can just open it a little bit and put it on the string just like that. And then you can hang it somewhere. Wow, it is so cool. This would be perfect for a collection room or some sort of like celebration, like a birthday, a holiday, a Sailor Moon watch marathon. I don't know, whatever you want to celebrate with a little bit of uh, Moony decorations, this would be awesome. Oh my God, I love it. And I'm going to get you guys some B-roll footage of it in the dark and of the projection because, uh, let me see if I can, oh my God, it's projecting the Cosmic Heart Compact on my phone. Oh my god, oh my god. You guys, I, you're gonna see this, but um, right now, just let me have this moment. Oh, fuck. I'm like trying to think like, where can I hang this? Where can I hang this? I might just need to take this part off just to, you know, hang it somewhere behind me just for now. Do I have a hooky? I don't even know if you guys can see this. I'm just gonna hang it there for now. I hope you guys can see that. I'm gonna go turn my lights off so I can show you exactly what they look like in the dark. Here's what it looks like in the dark. I think that these are really, really special. Check out that Cosmic Heart Compact projection. It is sweet. You guys will have to let me know what you think down there in the comments because I gotta know. I love these! This is such a unique item in the perfect decoration for a Sailor Moon fan. And another thing that I really, really like about these were how affordable they are. They're just paper and they're easy to ship from Hong Kong. The shipping may be a little expensive, but the lanterns themselves are very affordable. And I do suggest you pick up at least one if you can. Like I said, I'll have some links down there in the description for you guys if you want to try to snatch one of these up before they're not available anymore because who knows how long these will last. And they're so cool. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of these paper lanterns. I'm sorry I'm not opening them all up. One day when the collection room is done with its makeover. Oh my gosh, I can just imagine how awesome and beautiful it's gonna look. And we're gonna open up so much more things and I'm gonna have to film them for you because right now it's a freaking mess. It is chaotic in here and I am so embarrassed and so ashamed. Like I can't, I just don't wanna show you guys that part of my life. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's it. Thanks so much for watching this really short video. I hope you enjoyed it regardless. I am going to go now. I'm hungry, um, my stomach is growling. I feel like I say I'm hungry on this channel a lot. It's like I, I just eat all the time. No, I just typically film like right before dinner time. So um, that's why my stomach's growling. But yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. I've got something really, really cool coming up. I can't wait to show you. I think you guys will really enjoy the next video that I've got planned. So make sure you like this video and then also double check and make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel so you don't miss the next one because it's going to be a little different than what I normally do. So that's really exciting. I love each and every one of you guys. Stay healthy, stay positive, stay safe. All the uh, good things, you know, I don't want anything bad happening to you guys because y'all are my fam. So yeah, keep it all together as much as possible. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Kisses for this channel because I love you guys so much.
this is what happens when I get hangry. I just don't have like any direction. Like I'm not even filming this from a script like I normally do. Like all of this today was unscripted. So I just, I just did this boom, boom, boom. Like just what I was thinking in my head. And I, I don't like it when I do that. I like when I have a script. So, hmm, this is just one of those videos. This was on a whim video. Like I got this today in the mail. I didn't know it was gonna come today. And I was like, let's go ahead and film this video. Gosh, it's like I've had sugar today and I promise you I haven't. Oh, I have, I've had yogurt. I've had yogurt, God, I'm blabbing, I'm blabbing. I'm trying to like think like, cause we didn't really have a lot of bloopers. I don't I don't have any bloopers for you guys. I don't think at the end of the, of the episode. <laughs> I just made a blooper. <laughs> well, there you have it. I forgot to say a special thank you to Doki Doki Goods for organizing this group buy in my Discord community. They helped a lot of us out get these and it was really cool of you. So a special thank you and shout out to Doki Doki Goods. And if you guys aren't in the Discord yet, please consider joining. We just hit over 100 pack members and we are a really cool bunch of folks if I do say so myself. We help each other out. There's like group buys, there's pickups. Um, I do a lot of my sales first in the Discord, so like members of my Discord get first access to stuff that I'm selling, so there's some perks. <laughs> so consider joining if you guys want to be a part of a Mooney community, but we don't just talk Sailor Moon. We like get to know each other more and uh, talk about like just topics from all over the board, like other fandoms, uh, personal issues, life in general, so if you just want to meet some really cool Moonies and like-minded people. My Discord is where it's at. I've got a link down there in the description for you guys to think about joining if you want to. <gasps> oh my gosh, why do I keep doing that?